Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and whilst it's been a while since I've played Relic Hunter Zero, there has been quite the large update, known as Storm. Now, to go through all the content, what the developer has done so far, he's added a donate button to the Steam store, as the chap has now slapped in over 120 hours of work into the game, and while it is a free game and he's been upgrading it for the last four years, it would be nice if you want to donate a little bit of money. Again, he's stated that um, it doesn't come with any content, it's completely voluntary, and he's not going to be locking anything behind it. For the game itself, there's now a new game mode um, called Storm, which is in beta, which is inspired by the original Risk of Rain. There's new difficulties, so uh, you've got beginner, and hard, and epic modes. 10 new relics, 3 new bosses, 4 new guns, a new dynamic camera for local play, meaning the camera will zoom in and out. The, the camera always a, was a little bit wonky, so it's glad to see that's been changed. There's been a bit of a combat rebalance, so I'm going to be uh, interested to see that. And there's now rarity colour codes on the weapons. There's also been a uh, rename of one of the characters. There's been uh, a few updates to the actual game itself. Now it's now Game Maker, I think, version 2. And there's a lot of performance improvements, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing how this is going to be. I mean, the relics, he's put in, he's been nice enough to put a list. You've got the shell candy, which gives all guns, like, shotgun spread, which is going to be crazy. You've got purple juice, which means enemies explode when they die. Rabbit ears, when fires rockets when you dash. If the rockets can kill yourself, that's going to be actually a nightmare one to handle. Pure sand, which damages all enemies when you pick up a bounty. A loaf of bread, that uh, killing enemies regenerates your shields. Blood moon, which is killing enemies reloads your gun. So there's a lot of utility stuff here. Um, black cat, which is a chance to deal double damage. A multi tool, at all, which triples your reload speed. Um, actual carrot, which adds stamina regeneration. And fire freak, which doubles your rate of fire. He hasn't so much put so much detail about the new guns, so we'll have to see what's going to happen there. But uh, gameplay tweaks of like, he's reduced the screen shake a little bit, which is good because some of it was a bit much. Um, and he's increased gun accuracy by 15%, which is nice. There's a ton of other little, uh, little tweaks, but uh, I would recommend looking at the patch notes to really see them all. I'm going to try Storm. No, I did have to... Oops. Oh, good. My Xbox pad is actually working, so I don't have to rely on the mouse. Yes. Um, I think there's a few new characters as well. I didn't have them all unlocked previously, but it'd be nice to see. I was a little worried that I have to start from scratch since I've had to reinstall the game. Now, I can't quite remember what my... Controls up. Is it me? Is this like Halloween based? Okay, this is unusual. Normally you go and pick a relic. Oh. Oh, yes. Why am I shooting all the cover? It's not going to help me. Just trying to remember the controls, to be honest. I must admit, the game, to me, looks a little neater. Like, graphically, it's been touched up a bit. It might just be uh, the change in resolution and the new monitor, but... It still feels uh, pretty smooth. Okay. The fact I cannot remember the controls is a little bit um, awkward. But I'm sure I'll get into it again. Okay, that's melee. Let's... I would like another gun, so I don't have to, like, manually press every shot. God, more than are coming. If this really is, like, Risk of Rain, it's just going to be enemies keep spawning as time goes on. Okay, 
need. Now, I've got enough for a uh, chest. What did I get? Okay, sniper rifle. Oh, crap, that's... Well, that's nice if I could remember how to change my... Oh, crud. Uh, it would be nice if I could remember how to change weapon. Oops. I've got one in the back as well. Okay. My fumbling with the controls is not helping me here. But that said, I am liking having a sniper rifle this early. Alright. Triangle change is gone. Excellent. What is that? Bouncer pistol. Oh my god. I love this kind of weapon in games where you can't shoot yourself. Alright, I am enjoying this so far. I can definitely see how even the basic enemies can overwhelm you pretty quickly. Well, I'm a bit annoyed I've not found any relics and it's all guns so far. But it's only the first level, so I really should kind of expect it, you know, expect it. And honestly, oh, there was a free gun over there. Um... Oh god, are the dead re uh, coming back? What have I got? Was that an empty chest? Oh! Took a little bit of damage there. That would be cool. What do I need for you? I have never even seen that icon before. Okay, give me that. Sorry, I'm a little bit quiet. I'm actually having to focus quite a lot on these guys. No, the new enemies are interesting. The sort of undead duckins is kind of interesting. Oh, I just realized at the bottom they've got like the old risk of rain, the difficulty is going up bar as well. So yeah, there's... Right, give me that money. Can ignore the bug. All right. What's How much do I need? Oh, I need 50. Maybe that's one of the things I got out of the chests. I didn't realize. Oh, God. All right. Where is the way off this level? Come on. I am not enjoying that. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh wait, it's uh Holy crap! That's amazing. It will chew up my ammo in no time flat, but it's fun and that's important. Finally, I got myself a relic. I have no clue what it does. Please stop shooting me. Ha. Huh. Don't really need that. All right. What does... Oh. Crap. That's what that means. See. I, I don't remember how to find the teleporter here.
I would like to get off the first level. Uh, reload. So I, that is addictive. It's terrible waste of ammo, but it is just, just the power and the force of it is just quite fun. What does a candy do? Dodge this! Oh crap! I dashed my way into trouble there. Okay, let's go back to the sniper rifle. Um, is that where I came in? I'm guessing the candy's from the Halloween theme. Aha! Freaking shotguns. Oh, let me get the chest, you swines. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, there's only one chest left. Do I have to empty all the chests before I can get the teleporter? That's that's what I want to know at this point. I would definitely like something that would... Ah, there it is. Uh, raise my dodge capability. Alright, I've got all the chests. Now I just need to find the teleporter. Or, better yet, go to the weapon upgrade guy. Okay. No explanation of how it upgraded my weapon, but we'll see. Okay. How do I find the freaking teleporter? I am... That's it, I, I'm having fun playing the game. The mode is kind of cool. The lack of explanation of how to get the teleporter though it kind of just throws you straight in would have been nice to just have the typical oh this is how you do this ex explanation that the game usually gives you i'm pretty certain previously i had to kill all the enemies in the other modes so the fact i'm just on a search and for one i can't remember how to dig because i remember Previously, I had to dig. As I say, it's been a long time since I played, so. Come on. God, those things. Those things usually can't shoot. They usually just chew your face off. There we go. Oh no, it's those that chew your face off. Alright. I don't feel like there's anywhere I haven't looked. Granted, I have gone around the edge of the map more. Oh, an achievement. Trick or treat. Oh, where is this teleporter? Alright, do we have any help? Nope. Normally, in risk of rain, you want to get through a level as soon as possible to get the loot and get out. But I cannot find the way out. Oh. Alright, considering that was kind of a blind fire, I'm actually quite pleased of how, how well that went. Oh! It's like slap bang in the middle of the plumbing level, and I just haven't noticed. Great. Oh! It is like Risk of Rain. I've got to fight a boss to get out. I could have sworn I've walked past this area a few times, though. So. Alright, everything dies.
Oh. I forgot they could do that. Blind firing worked for me there. Oh, for... But it, it just had to be one of these things. I hate them. And is it summoning more of those little... Oh, crap. My shield's out. Come on. Oh, for... Go away! Oh, the bullets track on that thing as well. Lovely. Just spray and pray. Not ideal, but it worked. Oh, yeah, it's... I just realised I can't leave the level until I've killed everything now. If it's, if it's like Risk of Rain, I've got to go kill every freaking enemy. And I hate these things. All right. Um. Oh, land already. Let's go get this thing that's in this bottom corner. One of us wandered really? off right over here. Really, we're doing this now? There we go. Okay, with that all cleared up, it's time to go to the next level.